Hey guys, this is Christina Delgado, and today we're going to talk pick monkey. I get asked a lot about how do I create my collages, my images for my sneak peeks or my business opportunity calls or announcements for challenge groups. So I wanted to take a day um, in our push training to show you some you know, tips and tricks that I use with pickmonkey.com that you can implement right away into your business so that you can create beautiful images that are uh, attracting to your customers. Now, I want to say that I do have the upgraded version of pickmonkey.com. Um, it's really inexpensive to upgrade, and there's a lot of cool features that are added, a lot of more, a lot more fonts that are added when you have the upgrade. So that's totally optional. I just wanted you to know that while we're going through this, I do have the upgraded um, uh, membership. So you might see things that if you don't have the upgraded membership, you're not going to be able to access. Um, you can do four things on PicMonkey. All of them are super cool. Um, you can edit a photo, touch it up. You can design your own photo, or you can do a collage. I'm going to start with collages first because um, it's really the most basic of the PicMonkey um, options that you could do and it's something that you'll probably use often so i'm going to go ahead and click on collage and it's going to immediately tell you to pick some photos right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just create a photo of my sister's 14 star rank advancement so i'm going to go ahead and grab the 14 and what you do is before you even get on pick monkey you go into google google images your camera roll whatever and you pick the photos that you want to use in your collage so I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, the 14. I'm going to also, I'm gonna go back to open photos. I'm going to grab her picture. You see them popping up on the side. And then I will go ahead and grab, let's say these diamonds right here. And these are all images that I've gotten from Google Images. So I'm, all I do is drag and drag. And this can be done really quick and drag that there. Um, you could change the size of that. You can you know, drag it up and down to make it the size that you want. Um, one thing I do change is um, I don't like to see the lines in between the images. So I go down here and I'll change the spacing to zero. So you see how now there's no spacing between the images. All right, so now here is the basic format of how I want my collage to look. So I go ahead and click edit and it's gonna open in editor. So now I have access to put text on it, put images on it, uh, put overlays on it. And that's one of the cool features of PicMonkey are the overlays. So adding text is probably the easiest thing that you could do. Um, you go ahead and you pick whatever font you wanna use. You could change the color. This little screen over here will pop up and you could change color. But I'll go ahead and write Becky Brosse. I'm gonna just keep it black and simple. I'll make it bigger that way, right? All right. Um, one thing um, people like to use are banners. And so I will come to overlays and I'll use the geometric banner and I'll click on it. And I'm not gonna actually put it into the image, but I just wanna show you what you do. So here you have a black banner, right? But it's kind of thick and bulky. So what you do is you fade it. You make it faded. You can put it over her name right here. And obviously it's not gonna be perfect. I'm going through this quickly. Um, and you can actually bring it forward by cl double clicking or right clicking or bringing it back. I'll show you bringing it back. Okay, so now you see the Becky Brosse is a little bit more clear. Um, this is just one option you could do. Here, there's a ton of things. You can add hearts to your image. Um, some people like using uh, the fire. See, I could put fire into my image. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see it right there? Um, there's so many different things that you can do. And um, here's another tick, the, the, the trick, the screens, right? So right now it's on screen mode so you can't really see the fire up here but if you can change it normal that's what it looks like if it's normal you can add darken difference changes the colors so that's uh, another trick you can do this with any overlay that you put on a picture 
Here's another thing I love, your own overlay. You see up here where it says your own? So I do this quite often. I will come here and I will grab, let's see. Let's just go ahead and use the diamonds again. And it will pop those diamonds right on top of the image. Do you see that? So when you see, you know, floating images and things like that on these pick monkey sites, I'm you're on these pick monkey collages. I'm using the your own option when it comes to overlays. And here again, you could use different. You can um, change the way that that overlay looks just by scrolling, and you pick the one you like the most. So here in this case, the normal one looks the best, right? So let's just plop that right there. All right. Um, I, I've also seen questions on, you know, how do you change the way the picture looks? That's right here in this little wand. You could change everything about the image right there. You see how it changed? You could do all this kind of stuff to it, um, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to keep it normal. Go back to where it was. There we go. All right. So that is a basic. I mean, obviously, this collage does not look good, and I wouldn't use it. But these are some of the options that you can do um, to create collages. Fonts are right here. You have all your overlays right here. Um, I'm not a big fan of images with these kinds of things on them. I think it makes it doesn't look as professional or clean. You know, all these um, borders, I guess you should say. I'm not a fan of these things. But obviously, it's your taste. You can do whatever you want. But I um, choose to have all my collages look real clean, real sharp. All right. So I'm going to actually exit out of this one. And I'm going to show you another way of doing images. So I'm not going to save that one because it looks terrible. So I'm going to design my own this time. So I want to highlight something here. Do you see this right here? Facebook cover. So if you want a really snazzy Facebook cover, this is where you would come to do it. And you use the same principles. You can use a collage Facebook cover. You can create your own. Um, but, you know, if you looked at Danielle Katz's video yesterday, you know your Facebook cover should not be screaming Beachbody. It should be screaming, this is me. Um, this is my brand. So go in here and play with it and create your own Facebook cover. But what I do is I come in here and I create a custom. And I change this to about 1500 and then 800. That's the shape that I typically like. Here we go. So this is a blank slate. So a lot of times people ask, well, how do you do those you know, um, recognition posts? And how do you get those backgrounds on the recognition posts? Well, it's right here. Um, canvas color. You can actually change the white to black in canvas color. So I'm going to go ahead and make it gray. I'm going to apply that. Um, if you want to add something real cool, you go to textures and check this out. You can go and put some stars on that. That's kind of cool for a diamond rank advancement, right? I'm going to cancel that. I use this one a lot. I love the stars. I love it. It feels almost like underwatery. I love that one. Um, you could do all these things. Metal is real cool. You can do something like that. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with textures as well and the backgrounds that you use for your images. But I am going to create a 14 star rank advancement this way for my sister. So I'm going to go to my overlays. I'm going to grab my own. This time I'm going to grab her picture. And there it is. I could just stretch it out. And I'll place her right there. Then I'll go and I'll grab my trusty diamonds. And there they are. I will put them right there. You can do something like that, nice and cool. All right, so then we're going to add, I'm going to add, I'm gonna go back into overlays. I'm gonna add a cool little banner to it. I'm gonna go here to banners. I'm gonna stretch this out, right? And 
I'm going to black, I'm going to turn it white. Then I'm going to fade it. Use that fade feature makes everything look nice and sharp. I'm going to add her name. Actually, I love Great Vibes. It's one of my favorite cursive apps, uh, fonts, excuse me. Great Vibes. Becky. Bro, say I'm going to stretch that out. Eek. Sometimes it's kind of hard to grab it when, there we go. I'm going to make that nice and big. Becky Grosse. Realize that the background is not big enough, so I'm going to drag it out. There we go. And there, I have a rough 14-star uh, diamond collage for my sister that's nice and cool. And you realize here I have some gray space that's kind of empty, right? So I'm going to come here to crop, and I'm just going to go ahead and crop it. I'm going to crop it to the size that I want. want it right there. I'm going to apply, and boom, there we go. So PicMonkey is very versatile. You can do so many things on it. I will tell you that my favorite um, features are the put your own overlay feature on an image. I love using the fade feature and all the crazy fonts. You can actually come here to the font. This is one thing I love doing too. If I could just grab it. Hold on, I'm gonna take this out so I can show you. Okay, so I come to her name. You could actually grab her last name, for instance, and change the color. I like the red to match her outfit. And so now we have Becky Brosse, two different colors. And boom, that's like, it pops, um, it's really nice. Um, uh, you know, these kinds of things make your business look professional, um, sloppiness, you know, things that are blurry, things that, you know, just aren't eye catching, just screaming beach body. Um, that's something that you need to work on. This is a skill and I've developed this skill. Um, I'm not perfect. You know, you might not like how I do my collages, but um, it's something that I like to do. I like crisp. I like sharp. I don't like too busy. Um, I always pick great pictures of people. And you know, when you go onto Facebook, you have access to grabbing pictures of what you want, and especially on Google Images as well. So take time to learn this uh, website. It's a website, not an app. Um, it can help you. I think it's very quick. It's very efficient. You save it, drag it into Facebook, and you have a beautiful collage or image to share. You do so much in terms of creating, um, you know, rank advancements, your own announcements for challenge groups, sneak peeks, business opportunity calls, whatever. Use PicMonkey. There's other things out there, of course. This is the one that I wanted to show you because it's one that's helped my business. So go out there and let's create beautiful images to share with the world. Bye, everybody.